This is the old man talking. And this morning I'm talking about suicide. Now, that's a very tough topic. And I would prefer to avoid it like uh, most other people would. But if you're a bipolar and you go through those cycles and you're feeling real good, you know, you're going to get a uh, reaction to that and you're when you're down in the depths right that's when the thoughts of suicide come along I have them if you're bipolar you have them how do we deal with them I made one attempt on my life when I was like 26 just out of the mental hospital living in uh, Greenwich Village, having a little trouble connecting with people. Uh, I had a job, but it wasn't enough. So I decided that, uh, really decided that this was the end. I, I, I was getting a deep depression after going through a, a strong manic high. So I put the stuff together that I needed. <clears throat> I did it on a Friday night so I wouldn't be met missed until Monday morning. Uh, remember lighting the cigar, going through a walk through the city streets, thinking this would be my last cigar. Went up to my fourth floor walk up, uh, adjusted the pair paraphernalia and uh, just as I had the plastic bag over my head and the ether near my mouth I breathed as I was just you know drifting off all of a sudden my right hand came up and pulled that bag off just like that in a second as if, you know, I wasn't thinking about it. As if it was the, my body's own reaction. I drifted off right after that. I woke up like, well, I don't remember exactly, but it was something like 24 hours later. Maybe not quite in my little room. The ether rag still by my face, the rubber band still around my neck, and the plastic bag just above my head. <clears throat> and uh, I was alive. Well, the immediate re reaction is one of release and relief. And I uh, got something to eat or whatever and went into work on Monday morning and as I was riding up in the elevator with a fellow employee she says oh you have a cold you know I said yeah I wasn't feeling too good it was a spell of ether on my breath that was still available now ether is a very dangerous stuff ether could kill you deader than dead so don't play around with this stuff but I thought that I, what amazed me was my own body's desire to survive. What made that hand move? What kept me alive? And so I was thinking about that many times since. I'm now 72. So that was back in about 68 that that all occurred. And... Uh, Boy, I've had lived a lot of life since. I've had my problems, but uh, there have been moments of pleasure and delight along the way. Now, I don't want to hold myself up as any sort of a, of a as a model bipolar patient. None of us know what the future will hold. I don't know what my future will hold, but at least. I've enjoyed all those years 
thanks to that right hand. <laughs> and if you're contemplating ending your life, remember my little story and how much your body wants to live and do your best, your darndest, to keep on going. Keep on pushing despite how black things see, but I know they can see very black. To see what life has to offer you. I guarantee you it won't be all bad. This is old bad talking. Bye bye. <laughs>